Hey guys, so I'm back with a video and this is a lip swatching video. It is the Revlon Kiss Cushion Lip Tint. They come in a variety of 10 different colors and they're all right here. I'm so excited, guys. You don't even know. I like just swatched these and they are bomb. This is a lip stain that is supposed to have the comfort of a balm. And it's also formulated with coconut oil for a moisturized look. And you can find Revlon products at any, pretty much any drugstore. Um, Target as well. Which, would Target be considered half kind of a drugstore because it has so many drugstore products in there i don't know but you can find it there i mean you can find anything at target pretty much let's be real but basically this video is me going through each and every lip stain and swatching it on my lips i hope this video is informative i hope it's helpful and i hope that it's enjoyable to watch if you want to know what products i have on my face please look at the description box this is the bag that it came with. So there are 10 shades in here. And I thought that the smartest thing to do was to start from like the lightest to the darkest. I'm going to start with this nude color. And this one is called Pretty Kiss. And if you just pop this off like that. You can see that you have this sponge here. It's pretty big sponge. It kind of looks like a crayon, like those jumbo crayons. And so what you do is you just twist it. And the first one I twisted, it was 13 times. I'm gonna count this one and see. One, two, 11. Oh, this one was 11 and 12. So you see? pigment rises up. Do keep in mind that the pigment of your lips will affect the color of the lip stain. So I'm just going to apply this on. They smell really good. They smell very sweet. Kind of like a baked good. I really, really like this color. <gasps> Holy cow. Mm. So now the sponge tip is all stained i'm not gonna lie i kind of have ocd with things like that when something is completely white and then it just stains permanently but i mean it's fine if you're eating or drinking something and some of it comes off it's okay because there's still gonna be pigment that has adhered to adhered adhered to your lip the next color is Naughty Mauve, and this is the color that I actually already tried out. I put it on for a picture to put on my Instagram. So, I'm just going to put this on, and it's berry color. So you can put as little or as much of this lip color as you want. It's all based on preference. So that's that color. This color is pink IRL. And we're gonna have to twist it again. So there's the pigment and we're gonna put that on. This a little bit goes a long way. One twist actually covers the entire lip area. So that's that color. This is called Berry Lit. Now I've noticed that these colors look a lot darker or brighter on the outside packaging as opposed to when you actually apply them on. Gotta work for it. We gotta work for it, right? Okay, so that much pops out. And whoa that's pretty right this is very much kind of like that popsicle stain look okay. so as you can see i can also shear this out so that it's not too too right this is definitely that popsicle stained effect that you would get 
and I love this color god thank god this isn't liquid lipstick okay now we're gonna go for an orangey color and this is called high-end coral I don't have my glasses on so it kind of is hard for me to see such tiny writing Colors popping out. There we go. There she is. Pretty. Very orangey. I think I pumped a little too much out. Uh, I just want a little bit. Oh, that's... Wow. Look at that. That's pretty pigmented. I don't want to waste any of this, but I don't want that much color. So I'm going to dab it off. And... Just blend it. You know what I mean? But, this is actually a really pretty color. You can totally wear this for fall. <gasps> wow. Hmm. Very nice. Oh, I love it so much. It's so cute. I'm gonna take it off. My lips hate me right now. Now we have this fiery red. This one is called Crimson Feels. You know what? These names are pretty cute. They did a good job with that. Crimson Feels. Come on now. There you go. It's coming out. Look at her. Right there. Okay. Starting in the middle. I'm not even going to say it, but you already know. <gasps> yes. Yes. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Why? Girl, if you are looking for a red lip stain, this is where it's at. I almost dropped it. This is where it's at. This is where it is at. I'm happy. This one is Fancy Rose. What do you think? It's nice, right? Oh, I just realized that you can pop this on there while you're actually applying your lip product. Nice. This is chocolate pop. Hello. Oh, I think I put too much. Okay, let's, let's calm down here. Let's calm down. You're getting crazy. I'm sorry if this isn't my favorite. <laughs> I think it would look better on somebody else, not me. Okay, let's I'll fix things a little bit here. Okay, that's the color. I mean, that's not bad. It looked a little iffy at first, but I think I could definitely wear this out. This has more of a cool, like, gray undertone to it. Second to last one is called Extra Violet. Ooh. Oh. I think too much came out. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? I don't know. Okay, there we go. I just... Go for a stain here, Stephanie. This reminds me of like flowers or something. I don't know why. I'm adding more. So you can see that it builds up. Oh, that's so sweet. So last but certainly not least is wine trip. Color de vino. I oh, 
always get hair in my mouth whenever I'm doing lip swatch videos. Okay. Oh. Well, this color is divine. Definitely more on a vampy lip stain side. Without it looking like you literally just woke up from a coffin. I just changed into my one of my favorites which is fancy rose so here are just a few tips if you are going to buy these lip stains one make sure that you don't twist too much because sometimes we get overly excited to get the product out that we do not realize that we're twisting way too fast and way too much and then too much product comes out and you're just wasting product and then you're kind of it gets messy on the lips and you just don't want that. One indicator of the product actually coming out of the sponge tip here is that the twists just get a little bit tighter and so once you start feeling that then you know that product is going to come out so just kind of twist a little bit slower. Don't want a ton of product actually coming out of the sponge because then you've twisted way too much. You just want kind of like that immediate like tint of color coming out and then you can um, actually apply it on evenly. Another tip is start at the very center of the lip and dab it and then kind of work your way outward and then I'll do like longer or shorter strokes just to kind of get the, it in the inner corners of the lips. You can build these up so definitely if you want a deeper color go ahead and add a little bit more usually you don't have to twist again in order to get more product out and onto the lips there's enough already there on the sponge and another tip is when you go back to reapply your lip throughout the day what I would suggest is instead of twisting it again um, just double check to see if there's any product in the sponge because right now maybe it looks like there's really not that much on the outside but there could be some underneath and so just dab on your lips to see if anything does come out those are basically all the tips that i can think of right now okay guys that is the end of the lip swatch video let me know what you guys think let me know if you think these products are worth buying if you have tried it out yourself I think that they are definitely worth it. The color range is pretty cool because you have a vampy and then berry colors. The color range is pretty cool. The color range... Color range... This is what I do not to get upset that I'm not saying the right things. I gotta dance and dance and dance. Everything's okay. <laughs> it's not that serious. Okay, um, take five or whatever. The color range is pretty cool because you have your more vampy berry colors. You have pinks, you have coral, you have more um, neutral colors as well, which I really appreciate that. And even the brighter colors are actually not that bright. They're a good way to wear a pop of color without it feeling overwhelming or like if everybody's staring or anything like that. The way that they apply is very smooth. Um, I love how easy it is to use these. This covers more space and just makes it easier to kind of dab and everything. I just, I'm applying another color on my lip. Okay. All right. Okay. Just blend it out. <laughs> all in all, I'm really happy with this product. I'm super excited to wear them out because I'm not going anywhere today, but it's okay because I made this video but I'm really excited to wear them to church and the grocery store and work <laughs> basically the only places I go I don't have a life if you guys have any questions or any concerns or anything if you have any suggestions or maybe comments about the product if you've used them already yourself please let me know down below and I will get back to you I love you guys God bless you and I hope you have a great day bye